Have you ever flown into an airport that doesn't have weather service, like a friend's backyard, a flying community, or just a local fly-in? Well, George at Sayweather has a really cool product that's fixing that for everybody. Let's go talk to him and check it out. Okay, hi, I'm George with Sayweather. We're here at Oshkosh and we're having a great time today. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our product. So what we do is for an airport that doesn't have its own weather information, we, we can now give any airport real-time weather information. So when a pilot's flying in, instead of having to get uh, what AWOS information from the nearest airport that may or may not be the correct information, um, here's how it works. We have the airport set up a Davis weather station. They put it up on their field. This one is solar powered. It's got a battery backup good for two or three years, and then it's wireless back to the console. We take the information from the weather station out of the console and put it into our say weather box. This is our brain that we've developed and we make some calculations in here and then we push the information out of VHF radio. So now the pilot can be 15 or 20 miles out from the airport. He's already on the Unicom frequency for the airport that he wants to land on and he just keys his mic four times. So now we can give any airport and any pilot real-time information. So now he's 15 miles out. He already knows what runway he's going to set up for, how he's going to enter the pattern. He knows if he's going to have a crosswind. He knows if he's going to have gusting winds. Just makes him a safer pilot. Let's say he's going to have some gusty winds on that landing. When he gets on a short final, he can just key the mic three times on the Unicom frequency. Airport automated advisory. Wind one, two, zero, at six knots. So and we just give him a quick wind check. It just makes him feel a little safer and uh, a little more assured. Now that we have the airport's information, we can take it and we can send it to some of the EFBs like Flight and iFly, who's just joining our team, uh, Aviator Assistant. And it'll go there as a METAR, and uh, it will say advisory because we're advisory information. We are not an AWOS, but um, they'll be able to gather that when they start doing some flight planning or they, they just want to get the METAR. We also have our SAWIX Air program. It's our web services. This is the, the first step in our web services, but we do things like threshold texting. So let's say you wake up in the morning and the winds are 25 gusts into 30. On your phone, we'll give you a phone number you can text and text me when the winds, uh, text me when the winds at my airport are below 20 knots or below 15 knots or below 12 knots. And my threshold may be different than your threshold. Um, so you'll get a text once it's sustained at that level, you'll get a text telling you that you're good to go. We also do things, we'll go to texting. Say, the same number as the threshold texting for Savix Air. Let's say we want to get a METAR. So we'll push M for METAR, space, and one of my airports is FL90. FL90. So we'll hit send. So you get an instant METAR, and then you can go to our server. It gives you the identifier, the METAR. We put a picture of your runway on there. Gives you real-time weather information. It gives you a real-time radar map. We do trending for the winds with the gusts. We do trending for the direction of the winds and we do trending for the altimeter. We can also add a couple of cameras that we have over here and we can make it so that we can get a picture going down both directions on your runway. So we can now give any airport that didn't have weather information more information than they ever thought they could have. Um, if you want to hear more about it, you can uh, go look at uh, www.sayweather.com or my name's George and you can call me at 813-240-2727. I'd be glad to have a conversation with you.